we continue to gaze into the terrors that the comic world has to offer, it is important that we do not forget the classic monsters. They are just as important and well-known to our societies as their opponents in today's offering from the long box. Superman and Batman. Although, admittedly, the title is a bit of a misnomer. Yes, Superman and Batman do fight vampires and werewolves, but this book has more than just these. Superman doesn't appear until the end of the second issue, where he fights a Lovecraftian demon from another dimension. It is a thing of beauty, my children, to see such hellish creatures hold their own against such superpowered beings. In addition to our heroes, there is Green Arrow, Etrigan the Demon, Nightwing, Wonder Woman, even Man Bat makes an appearance. The plot is about a madman named Dr. Combs, no doubt named after reanimator and frequent Star Trek guest actor Jeffrey Combs, who wishes to gain access to the land of the dead. Unfortunately, his experiments instead grant him access only to the undead. His quest changes his unwitting test subjects into vampires and werewolves. These vampires are a particularly nasty sort, partially decayed and decrepit, but possessing enough enhanced strength to be a true force to be reckoned with. Ah, but there are two who fight alongside your heroes. A vampire named Demeter and a werewolf named Junko. Both are more man than monster, but crave a cure for their respective plights. Yes, never should we forget that the people changed to become creatures of the night are indeed victims. And the ultimate victim is a teenage boy who Superman tries desperately to save, but has been beaten by a vampire. If there is one thing to critique about this magnificent tale, it is a melodramatic narration that accompanies most of the story. You would think that, being the dramatic host of such macabre delights that I would like such a thing, but it interferes with the mood, I think. Ironically, this six-part story was recommended to that guy with the stupid-looking hat for a top the fourth wall, but he actually likes it! And why shouldn't he like it, my children? It has equal parts hero and monster, the heroics of the superhero crowd, and the grisly terrors for the monster-craving public. <laughs> it will satisfy all of your good-natured and bad-natured desires. 